Hello beautiful learners. Welcome to Slideshow English and welcome to the fourth video of our History of American Literature video series. In this video, our topic of discussion is the modernist period in American literature, which started approximately in 1910 and ended approximately in 1945. So what happened in the early 20th century in America? Let me give you a brief outline of the history. But before doing so, make sure that you watch the previous video because you need to understand the previous literary movements of American literature. All links of our previous videos are in the description box, so go ahead and check them out. But for now, let's make English straightforward. Now after the realist and naturalist movement in the late 19th century, America entered 20th century with a solid economy, political stand and rays of hope. But in the early 20th century, everyone witnessed great devastation in the form of First World War, Second World War and the Great Depression in economy. This all together caused people to be shocked. Lives became miserable and all of these impacted literature. 20th century was the time of innovation, fast forward and busy lifestyle. Writers began to express their modern lifestyle through their writings. They tried to break all the previous literary rules and conventions. Modernist period was the time to be bold in character and fast moving in life. American people also experienced Harlem Renaissance which were originated in the New York City. In this time, many forms of art and literature started to grow. But in this American modernist literature, almost everything was shaped by the two devastating world wars and the fall of economy. The effects of these two wars were massive and terrifying for every human being on earth. People lost their homes, relatives, money, citizenships and their lives became horrible. The writers who wrote in this time wrote on some specific topics. We will see a change of style in every types of literature. But all of them were written in a pessimistic way. They wrote about the loss of faith, morality and social values. Literature reflected the human mindset. We see confusion and the loss of hope in the modernist period. Now hope the overview of the American modernist era is clear to you. If you have any doubt or question, feel free to ask in the comment section below this video. So now let's discuss about the characteristics or types of the literature. We have already given you some clues about how the literature was during this time. But let us talk in details. Modernist literature was known for the innovation in the form, language and style of writings. The trend was to break all the previous literary conventions and create something new. But as we mentioned that the two world wars and the fall of economy had their own influences on literature. Just think what happens to us when we lost our nearest somebody. So think of the person who had four children but lost his job due to economic depression. Think of that recently married girl who lost her husband in the war. Life for her is meaningless and pathetic. World is cruel, hopeless and valueless for the girl. And everybody suffered from this kind of situation. People naturally became mentally depressed and the flow of thoughts broke down. This is how the stream of consciousness novels developed. Confusion was the major theme of this time's writings. In the love song of J. Alfred Prufrock, T.S. Eliot showed us the confusion theme. Other major themes of this time was isolation, loneliness and disillusionment. Literature showed us the scar created on human psychology because of the two massive wars and economy breakdown. So basically this was the literary characteristics. Now let's focus on the major writings and their writers. T. 
T.S. Eliot was the most famous writer of American modernist time. He was an American-British poet, essayist, playwright, editor, and a literary critic. He published The Wasteland in 1922, which became very popular. Eliot is thought to be the leader in American modern period. His other major literary works are The Love Song of J. Alfred Prufrock, Four Quartrets, The Hollow Men, The Sacred Wood, etc. Ezra Pound is also considered as the pioneer in modernism. His writings were highly impressed by T.S. Eliot and Walt Whitman. T.S. Eliot once called him the better craftsman. Ezra Pound's great works are The Cantos, Make It New, ABC of Reading, and so on. He died on 1st November 1972. William Faulkner, who was born in Mississippi, was a dominant writer. He was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1949 for his powerful and artistically unique contribution to the modern American novel. And he donated a part of his Nobel Prize money to establish a fund to support and encourage new fiction writers. Faulkner was awarded two Pulitzer Prizes and two National Book Awards. His famous writings are The Sound and the Fury, A Rose for Emily, Light in August, If I Forget Thee, and so on. Another great modernist writer was Ernest Hemingway, who was an American journalist and sportsman. His best-known books are The Old Man and the Sea, A Farewell to Arms, The Sun Also Rises, Men Without Women, etc. Beside them, we have Robert Frost, a very famous writer who wrote Topping by the Woods on a Snowy Evening, Nothing Gold Can Stay, Mending Well, and many others. Langston Hughes became popular by writing The Negro Speaks of Rivers, Dream Variations, and Refugee in America. Beside them, there were some other popular authors who wrote in modern America. They were William Carlos Williams, E. E. Cummings, F. Scott Fitzgerald, John Steinbeck, James Thurber, and many others. So I have tried to give you as much information as possible in this short video. You can spread literature by subscribing to our channel. Please support us by liking this video. Our next video will be on the last part of American literary history, which is the contemporary period. So please subscribe if you don't want to miss that video. Now, before we end, let me recite William Faulkner, who said, The past is not dead. In fact, it is not even past. Thanks for watching.